I, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com, and today I'm going to present you my five tips for June 2017. Let's start. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my website ericgibault.com. If you have any question, you can send me an email to info at ericgibault.com. Tip number one, uh, very often uh, I see people that tell me that uh, the ISO of their camera is too low, it doesn't get enough uh, good pictures at night time. I see that people are measuring light as if it were uh, night, uh, night viewing uh, glasses, you know, so actually uh, you must expose, you must measure the light for reality. What you see is what you get. If you want to get more than what you actually see, then this is not photography, this is spying. I mean, these are like spy glasses. And I think people are just really out of their mind. They, they, they want, they claim uh, 1,200,000 ISO and things like this. And say, no, now you see, you, you cannot see anything here. Look with my camera, I can see it. Well, this is uh, night vision and, and this is not photography, this is spying. If you need this, this is, I think you need other tool and we're not speaking about photography, okay? So I think when we were using, uh, uh, well, I still use uh, analog photography uh, with film with 400 ASA or uh, what was like ISO, okay? Uh, or 800 uh, was really a top, well, 1600 and even 3200, but the normal was 400, 800 ISO, uh, normally uh, 400, and you could do everything with that. So I think people are just really out of, out of their mind when they claim such high ISO and they don't realize what photography is really all about. This is my point of view. Tip number two, uh, if your camera has a level, so you can see if your, your, your picture is actually leveled uh, vertically or horizontally, you should use it, especially if you're making uh, handheld pictures, because uh, actually very often is the, the horizon is just a bit twisted and then you have to rectify after in your in your computer so if you could have it straight away uh, horizontal or vertical so, uh, according to what you're doing that would be a lot more practical and uh, less time consuming. If your camera doesn't have the, such a feature, uh, you can buy a bubble uh, level, so you put in the in the in the flash shoot, and then uh, you can actually level it. But in this in this case, you can actually look in the viewfinder and check the level at the same time. So then you should use a tripod. But if you can, if your camera has this feature, use it. Tip number three, I've said it many times, do not erase pictures in your camera. Uh, very often people check the picture like this and then say, oh, I don't like this one, I erase it. Maybe I have three or four of the very similar pictures. They erase the good one and they keep the bad one because on the small screen, everything looks good. Looks good. So actually, you should never erase anything because you may erase a picture that looked bad to you, but then afterwards you look at it on the big screen and it's not that bad or it's actually nice. That's the first reason. And the second reason is that you can actually uh, damage uh, the index of your SD card or CF card and then you will lose all your pictures. So don't do this. Just download the picture to your computer after making, um, after making them. And then if you don't like some, you can erase them in your computer and then uh, format the card. But do not erase them in the, in the camera. Tip number four, when you're actually reviewing your pictures in the LCD screen, you should use the zoom, make larger, make sure everything is fine. I mean, there are two policies, people who actually don't check their picture on the, on the LCD screen and people who do. If you do it, do it properly. Use the zoom feature to actually look several parts in your in your picture, see if it's actually okay, if it's uh, uh, focused, everything, okay? So use this feature as you have it. Uh, tip number five. Uh, now in the North Hemisphere, we're getting to summer, or summer is starting now, and uh, every year many, many people get their gear stolen in the car. Please do not leave any photo gear in your car. I know where you are parking, maybe it looks perfect, it looks quiet, this is a small village with no one there. 
Every year, many people get their gear stolen, even if it, look qui it looks quiet and a peaceful area or no, there is no one uh, supposed to be uh, uh, robbing around and things like this, okay? So, if you were the first one to be robbed, I would say, or stolen, I would say, well, bad luck. But you won't be the first one, so I think people who leave their thing in the car and get it stolen are really stupid. I mean, I don't know the point of leaving your gear in your car. Even when I stop at the gas station, petrol station, I take my bag, photo bag with me if I go to pay or for the gas or if I go to the toilet, I take the gear with me. Always, always, always. And even this, you may get stolen. So imagine if you leave the, the thing behind without mm, uh, making everything sure. I mean, closing a car is not enough. This is just not enough. In any case, you should have written on the paper at home all your serial number of your material. So this way, if you would get it stolen or lost, you could actually claim uh, at the police and uh, it would be maybe uh, easier to locate them if they find someone who stole some material. They could know if it's your gear or not. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching my tips for June 2017. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my website ericgibault.com. If you have any questions, you can send me an email to info at ericgibault.com. My Facebook, facebook.com slash photo. My Twitter, ericgibault. My Instagram, ericgibault. That's it. Okay, bye. Thank you very much.